Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. I have a question that came in to customer service. And this one comes from Jay Zoe. And Jay says, Dear Don, I enjoy your PPGS very much in the past couple of years. One question, since the two knees are pretty wide and bent somewhat compared to conventional address positions, does the right knee tend to receive more pressure on the muscles when you do the forward swing? Again from Jay Zo. Good question. No, they don't get more pressure on the forward swing. At least I would say so. Let's analyze what's going on here and, 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 and see if we can't come up to a, a, a correct answer for, for, for you, Jay, here. All right, wide knees outward pressure. That's the trademark of the peak performance golf swing. Why do we want the wide knees with outward pressure? Because we want the limited turn swing and the swing vertical. In the catcher's mitt and up the tree, Swing to a vertical upswing. We know that, that the limited turn means we turn the forward arm only to where it gets over the toe line. Once we reach the toe line, and it goes up. Because we're swinging on a diagonal inclined plane, the, the elbow to the hand to the club will get a little behind the toe line, and the club will get up here probably somewhere about the center of my shoulder. That's one of the tests I have. You can drop the club like that, and it should land right in that fleshy part. But the, the true definition of the left arm over the toe line is from the elbow to the shoulder. All right, because that inclined plane, and even though we're vertical, the elbow to the hands to the club will be a little bit to reach to about where the, uh, the ankle is. Because many times, one of the ways I check is if I draw a line from the butt of the club to the ground, I like to see it somewhere about the ankle and no deeper than the heel. If, it start, if I start seeing the butt of that club behind the heel, it's obvious that this arm is now turning too deep and you're getting in a sacred burial ground. All right, so we covered that. So the outward pressure is what helps us reduce and, and, and uh, the the potential of having too much turn because most golfers have been taught to turn at least 90 degrees or more and the main key to that was to lift your foot and kick your left knee in so when you get increased the range of motion in your lower body and hips it gives you more more ability to turn your body all right and and make a bigger turn which gets you in a sacred barrel ground since we don't want to go there one of the biggest way to help that is with the wide knees and slight outward pressure is you reduce this movement it reduces the hips reduces the shoulder turn and much more guarantees that we will stay directly over the toe line for that limited turn so that when it comes straight up we swing straight down okay right up to the finish so we go in the mitten up the tree straight through and right to the target okay now let's talk about the right leg or the back leg in this case when we get preloaded heavy right which we just kind of sit into our right leg we're ready I got that from like the pitcher getting ready to throw uh, our, our baseball player throwing the quarterback goes back to throw tennis player throws the ball up and sits down and goes up notice what I'm saying they all have a little bit of a sink so when we get into the right side in a pure backswing we're supposed to do what we're supposed to sink a little bit 90 probably 99 percent of golfers in the world because of too much turn once you turn your hips too much it's to pull your right leg straight so they're they're going up in the backswing rather than going down so if, if you go up what's going to happen what goes up has to come crashing down so that's one of the reasons why a lot of folks start tend to hit boss chunky and, and come over the top so you should you should there should be a little bit of a sit or sink as you load into the right leg load means the leg is receiving the weight it should compress a little bit it's like if there was a golf cart right here and I and I came over and I sat down on the cart to to go to, to, to drive to my next shot as soon as all my weight hits the seat you can feel you can you can see the cart and feel the cart go down with the springs receive my weight well again straightening rejects we want to receive so I think the greatest pressure is in the leg will be in the top as you get up to the top of the backswing and you've come and you've and you've received that weight you've had that little bit of sit or sink and it's very minimal your head might just go down a teeny teeny bit you go down and then once you start push and so because I'm down as I as I'm pushing off and and trying to swing up the pressure if there's any legs getting the pressure it's now the forward leg so to answer your question, which I think I just did, does the right knee tend to receive more pressure in on the muscles when you do the forward swing? No, it's relieving. Once you once you had the weight on it and you're pushing off of it and the weight's going this way, that leg is that those muscles, the leg's starting to straighten because you're standing up and and the, and the foot is starting to roll over so you can get to the pirouetted right foot position to swing up to the finish. As you'll see right here, so the weight is on it. It's it's really it's really working. It's it's 
the muscles are activated and really doing their job once I've sunk into the right leg. And once I'm pushing off, I mean, within a, within a blink like this, almost there's almost no way here anymore except for maybe right down there in your toe at that point and it's all over here on the, on the outside of this foot as I'm as I'm turning through and starting to stand up so uh, hopefully this answers your question the weight on the right leg is 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 it's greatest at the top of the backswing and once we start the transition and are pushing off and swinging up to the T finish that that weight is is now going to the left side and it's all over here. Okay? The transition with the right leg, it is exploding and 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 the and, the, and again as, as you asked, the the pressure is off it because it's all going to the forward leg. Okay? So hopefully this answers this que your question and, and maybe enlightens everybody else on on this movement of it's really critical to that kind of sit or sink into the right side, into your backside, because that means you're loading and then pushing off. And then that, now you're able to push off because once you sunk a little bit, now you can swing up. Okay? Hopefully this explains a lot of things and helps all of us to become better surgites and making better peak performance golf swings. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.